Hey YouTube, this is BrokenSB09 here doing a uh, tutorial on how to do the uh, gunshot effect. I uploaded this yesterday and I've gotten some requests on how I did it in the uh, footage, so I thought it'd be easier just to make a video and showing how to. So uh, this is what it will look like when you are done. Um, turn this down here, but uh, if you do this right, this is basically what it's going to look like. Something like that. So, what you're going to need is your footage of your firing the uh, fake gun, or the real one that just wants a muzzle flash. So that's basically mine, I'm just uh, fake firing it. You're also going to need a muzzle flash, and you can get this at detonationfilms.com. Um, some are free, so uh, there you go. Then you're going to need a gunshot sound effect, um, which I believe I got this at freesounds.com. So this is a uh, really good uh, sound effect. Um, so you're going to need those, and you're going to need an editing software like Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Express. This could work with After Effects, but it would probably be a little different. Um, but I'm not sure, So, because I really don't use After Effects that much. But um, what you're going to do is you're going to import your footage of you firing the gun, the muzzle flash, and the gunshot sound. So what you do is take your footage of you fakely firing it and put it into the uh, timeline one or track one, whatever you want to call it. You're going to find where you uh, start the footage, so right there. Let me shrink this down. Um, then you are going, I'm going to end it, let's see, right here. So let me uh, zoom out on this. So, now that you have this, um, you're going to now try to find where the, uh, you kind of like pull the trigger. So like right there, I would say. So you're going to hit M. And that's going to make a marker, uh, if you can see that. Let me zoom in on this, right there on um, basically where, the, uh, where you start firing the gun. So now what you're going to do is take your muzzle flash, and once you get that, um, we're going to put it up against the marker right there. So I can make this a little bit smaller. Go right about there. So once you get that there, it's going to be, if you play it, it's going to be like a uh, black screen when it comes over. And don't worry about that, we're going to fix that. So what you're going to do is make sure it's selected, um, the gunshot, of the muzzle effect. And you're going to go up to Modify, Composition Mode, Screen. And that's going to make the, uh, the muzzle flash, the black background, go transparent. Uh, and that only works with the black background. I think blue works with it as well, but I'm not sure. So once you do that, um, find where you can like see the muzzle flash. And you're going to put it where you want it, uh, shrink it down, make it bigger, whatever you want to do. I'm going to turn mine just a little bit. So right there, and maybe shrink it down a little. So right there. Um, now if you play this, it'll be a nice firing uh, effect. So that looks pretty good. Um, now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to take your gunshot sound effect and put it into the third track for the sound. Oops, this moved it. Let me undo that. Um, so put it there. Then what you're going to do is uh, find where the gunshot sound is. So like right there. Let me shrink that down. Let's see if this sounds right. Maybe a little smaller. I don't know, I think that's pretty good. So just line it up until where you can hear the gunshot sound. I'm going to shrink this down so it's fitting the uh, timeline. So when you uh, get done, it should look something like that. It's a little delay. Let me move it back. Let's see if that's good. Still a little delayed, so what I'm going to do is put my hand right there, 
We went back to that. Perfect. So once you get this, um, I'm gonna render it real quick. And to render, you just go to sync widths, render all both, and then um, hit OK or whatever. Let that render. Um, but this is a this is the same gunshot effect that I use. The same method that I use to make uh, this one right here. Same footage and everything. Same sound. So that's basically it. And let's see if this is done rendering here. Um, it's almost done. But um, yeah. And also, if you're uploading to YouTube, YouTube won't take the format of Final Cut Express. So you need to put it in iMovie and export or whatever. So let's play this real quick. Um, we'll go 100% and play this. That's perfect. So once that's done, um, like I said, you can edit it. But uh, if you want to export, just go up to File, Export, Export using QuickTime Movie or QuickTime Conversion. Um, those are probably the best. But um, if you're if you have live type and you want to use it for like an intro or something, just use it for live type. But um, that's basically how to make a gunshot effect in Final Cut Express uh, for Final Cut Pro Five. Um, that should work with any of the uh, Final Cut Pros or Express. So yeah, this is Broken SB. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos.